Let's have a look at how you deal with calendars and events. First of all, on this version, we have already imported our calendar because we're synced up with Google and our Google Mail and our Google Calendar. Now here you can see we're looking at it in day view, but if you press menu and week, you can also have a look at it in week view. So you can see all the things that are in your diary for the whole week. And you can use the trackball to move around and see what each of those little boxes means. Now, if you long press on one, you can see you get a menu. In this instance, we'll just view the event and you can see we're meant to be checking in at Heathrow around then. So you can then drag your calendar and you can drag it a week at a time if you're looking in week view. And there you go. Press menu and then press today and you'll go back to where you started from. Now, if you want to create a new event, press menu and add event. And that's one way of doing it. But you can also just choose a little space on the calendar. Long press, press new event and you get the same set of uh, options there. Now, if you flip open your keyboard, you can just type in what's going on. So lunch with Tom, what will Harry think? And then you can see you've got options to do with time and you've got some fairly self-explanatory menus there. Here we're gonna set the reminder for 15 minutes and once we're done, we can click save and it'll appear on the calendar. Now, if you want to edit an event, long press, and you can see you've got the choice to edit the event there. Just drag it down, get down to the bit that you want. We want to change the reminder because it's gonna take a while to get to that restaurant. So we'll change that to 25 minutes and then click save and it's updated automatically.